In the first episode of The Vegan Kill Cult, we skimmed the surface of the suffering, bloodshed, environmental destruction, and chaos that's being forced upon the world by the insufferable kill cult of veganism. I find this a surprisingly neglected subject in the carnivore-slash-vegan battlefield of discussion and debate, and have decided to turn this into a series so that we can continue to shed more light on this dark side of veganism. Today's darling destroyer of health, employed in service to the vegan kill cult, is a wicked chemical called chlorothalonil. Chlorothalonil is a controversial, broad-spectrum fungicide used by unthinking vegetable producers in their struggle to feed the vegan demand for an herbivorous diet. Technical-grade chlorothalonil contains hexachlorobenzene, a persistent organic pollutant that is curiously already banned under the Stockholm Convention. Chlorothalonil is highly toxic to fish and other aquatic animals that pay the ultimate price each time there's enough rain to produce runoff into local tributaries. Chlorothalonil is known to cause kidney damage and is considered a probable human carcinogen based on observations of cancers and tumors of the kidneys and four stomachs in laboratory animals. Chlorothalonil actually attracts honeybees and has been proven to be a key factor in the decline of the honeybee population by making the bees more vulnerable to a particular gut parasite as well as destroying the bees ability to sufficiently supply food to growing larvae. The control bees, they averaged about 43 individuals per colony. The colonies that were exposed to fungicide residues on flowers, they averaged about 12. Wow. We're talking about a profound effect. This is uh, basically what appears to be like the first hard evidence that a fungicide, not applied to adults, but just on the flowers, um, caused major colony declines in a single bumblebee species, Bombus impatiens. Albert Einstein once supposedly said that if bees disappeared from the face of the earth, mankind would only have four years left to live. Now there's no evidence that he actually said that, but it does touch on a real concern because the demands of the vegan movement are threatening to kill all the honeybees off which is an important concern because as pollinators, bees are a keystone element of the global ecosystem. And the idea that it somehow made these items toxic just because they've had conventional pesticides sprayed on them is a misnomer. Knowing what we know now about the damage and suffering being dealt by just one particular pesticide, it's safe to conclude that in order for a vegan to be misleading people with this pesticides are okay message is if the vegan is ignorant, corrupt, or just plain mentally disturbed, which would be no real surprise since YouTube's vegan poster boy has publicly expressed a hatred for children and a desire to stomp babies. I fucking hate children. They literally make me sick. When I see babies in a commercial, I start to gag and almost throw up, and I have to look away and mute it. And when I see babies in a stroller, especially when they're crying, I just want to put my foot through the fucking thing and step on it until it's nothing but blood and pulp on the fucking pavement! The mental illness of the vegan kill cult is horrifying. And at the end of the day, you figure out that we do have a choice. We can either save the honeybees and ourselves by focusing on a regeneratively raised, grass-fed, meat-based diet and enjoy a promising future for a healthy planet inhabited by healthy, happy people, or we can allow this vegan kill cult to continue to rape, pillage, and plunder our health and our environment until no sign of life on this wonderful earth remains. Please do choose wisely. Thanks for watching.